<risa> ¡Qué bueno! ¡Vaya tirazo! Eh, ¡Wow! ¿Qué se ha levantado? Se fue. Welcome to another video vlog. Today we are hunting with a couple of buddies that came from Mexico that I will introduce them to you guys now. Hunting Ibex. So I didn't want to pass the opportunity to join them and experience a beautiful day here in the Gredos Mountains. So let's see how the day goes. The weather looks amazing and should be a, a fun day ahead. I will try also to explain you how the hunting here works and all and all that. So stay tuned. Bye. Qué buen cámara. Sí. Okay, so for people to know you guys, a short introduction of who these legends of Mexico have come to visit. Well, it's with the greatest honor to me to be hunting here in Spain, one of the best examples how conservation work through hunting. Um, I'm Humberto Cavazos from Mexico City, conservationist, passionate about it, president of Club Zafaro de Mexico and it's a pleasure for me to be hunting with you, with Samuel and Alberto, my wife Graciela who's also a huntress and of course one of my great friends and best hunters I've known, Vicente Cáceres who can talk about himself as well. Thank you, yeah, I'm Vicente Cáceres. Uh, so I'm a veterinarian and I've been working with wildlife science 12 years ago. I'm a, I think I'm a real passionate hunter and I'm trying to work and put my part for the conservation. And it's a pleasure to be here in Spain. It's my first time hunting here with you guys and with Alberto and Samuel from Casa Planeta. So let's see how is today our hunting Redos Mountains. Okay, let's let's go find the Alex. Let's go find. Vamos, dale. Órale. Órale, venga. Órale, órale. super warm day we haven't been seeing much movement animals are probably bed down so we are gaining altitude to try to go get to a cooler elevation and what we are doing today we are trying to, to harvest two different ibex and they are in two different categories what are the categories and what's the meaning of the categories so depending on the trophy size uh, the, the government auctions those permits to different prices. So there is, we have one permit for like a higher class trophy and another one for a lower trophy. What that doesn't mean is that we are going to shoot younger animals. Both animals are going to be really old, past, way past uh, its breeding uh, age. 
but there are some animals that are, uh, they have better genetics that they are gonna make bigger trophies and some animals that with the same age they are gonna make smaller trophies so that's the reason of having two categories but both categories we are targeting to shoot really mature animals hopefully over 12 years 14 or something like that here probably they can get to 15 16 in some cases so that's what we are trying to to find but it's we're having a hard time so let's keep on let's keep on hiking Unos filetitos de cerdo. Bueno, 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 hay más que un cristal. Unos filetitos de cerdo ibérico, ¿eh? Ibérico. De mi amigo, de mi amigo Joselito. ¿Quién lo prepara? Venga ya, venga ya, venga ya. Me va a dar algo, chame ese. Eso es lo que está bueno. Hombre, con los huevos de la abuela Mari, ¿eh? Que lo sepa. He cazado contigo mil veces y hasta que no ha llegado un tío de México no has tenido una tortilla de patas. Claro, oye. Yo que ha girado el tapón. Mira, eso. 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 No, this is way different. But yeah. what is better, chaparral or difficult decision? Difficult. So, Gracila, what do you think about this situation? All men are equal in Spain and Mexico. Look at them. They are so polite, eh? Right exactly. in the force. They are so polite. And I'm so strong. <laughs> like a Mexican woman and a Spanish woman. <laughs> of course. That's a true Mexican gentleman. Exactly. Right there. meters positive altitude gain but it's so warm today that the ifex are all the way at the top but we have located a couple of groups that we hope, hope to relocate now fingers crossed guides just to spot a, a small group of billies. I think there are like five or six billies. One of them is a shooter for me. So we're making this talk. Let's see how it happens. Mm -hmm. 
is as high as here, 500 meters. So we are trying to get closer. Yo le tengo, ¿eh? Vale, pues yo también le tengo. Espera que se cruce, ¿eh? Oh, es Espérate, mídele distancia otra vez, ¿eh? Sí, sí, yo, nosotros, yo le tengo. Mídele, ¿eh? 407 de barco. ¡Sí, señor! ¡Cómo! ¡Fuerta! ¡Fuerta! ¡Qué tiro más bueno! ¡Qué tiro más bueno! ¡Qué grande! ¿Habéis visto? <risa> ¡Qué bueno! ¡Vaya tirazo! Eh, ¡Espera! ¡Guau! Wow. ¿Se ha levantado? Sí. ¿Se fue? ha levantado, sí. No, pero está allí, ¿eh? Bueno, pero... Si... Pues si puedes tirar el otro. Carga, carga otra vez. ¿Dónde pide? Está donde lo has tirado. Está metido en el monte, ¿vale? Ah, ya le di un cuerno. No. Ahora se ha tapado. Ahora se ha tumbado otra vez. Es que nosotros no lo vemos, si no le veo, volví a tirar otra vez. Yo ah. los dos. ¿Ves la roca que están los otros? ¿Es Mira, allí sale. ¿Te miro? 410 marca. Lo que pasa es que está de culo ahora, ¿eh? Pero si está herido, yo tiraría ese. Pero si es ese, ¿va? Sí, 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 es ese. Sí, sí, sí. El, el, el primero. ¿El tiro ahí de culo? Si te atreves... Los para abajo. ¿De verdad? Sí. Qué bueno, eres tirando, tío. Qué buena eso todos. ¡Ostras! Se sí, te tiene una máquina tirando, macho. Thank you, my friend. This is an amazing experience. Has been amazing. What a day. Vamos. ¿El rifle va bien o no? Sí, va bien. Porque rifle. ¿Qué? La verdad es que no sé para qué he traído los flashes. Are you just happen? Are you happy or not? I'm more than happy. I don't know what's the right word for this feeling, but 15 minutes ago I was about to quit. You know, this this hunt is tough. Uh, uh, many people say, "Oh, ibex in Spain is I gonna hunt those ibex when I'm old because it's easy." Man, it's tough. At the end, thanks to all the team and our guides, we find a really nice and mature Billy. I have to make a long shot, 410 meters, with this amazing and beautiful Bergara rifle in 6.5 Creedmoor that my dear friend Pedro let me use. And well, the bill is down. I'm taking a minute to recover my breath and we're gonna go there and see our, our, our trophy because it's our trophy. Thanks. What you guys don't realize is how far <laughs> the Billy is and how far are we from the car. We are like 15 k away from the car. We still have... It's gonna be a long day, but it was all worth it. And the, 
the shot Chente made was amazing because we, you could barely see the Ibex. He turned broadside for a second and he dropped it. He stood up again and he offered another shot. It was uh, just from the back, but it was a follow-up shot and he just dropped the billy again. So amazing. It <laughs> was amazing the shot. Oh. Well done. Eh? Felicidades, coño. Bueno, cabrón. <laughs> okay, so we basically have to go all the way down there. Hike up, 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 up there, and then come back down, go back up, and another 10k behind. Pero todo excelente, la compañía excelente, los guías, Pedro, muchas gracias. I'm more than happy, super super happy with this nice trophy, old Billy, 11 years old. Oh, amazing experience, nice hunt and thank you all of you guys. Y el peso. Sí. Es un estudio de mochila, cabrón. <risa> Por eso te lo he dicho. So, already 1,230 meters of elevation gain and 18 kilometers. And we have the same distance to the car. So, I don't know. Toughest, greatest hunt that I have ever done, but it was amazing. Well worth to come here. Okay, guys. So long trip ahead of us, but and we don't have. I forgot the headlamp. I'm heading to the USA in in a few days. Had my backpack ready, so I forgot the. Headlamp, so time to take down the camera until tomorrow. If you liked and enjoyed the video and the stories, please remember to subscribe to the channel. It helps us a lot, okay? Bye, have a good day.